Hi everyone, 3D Hero here, and welcome to episode 2 of my Just Give Me A Try weapons review video. Today's weapon we'll be looking at is one of my all time favourite vase, vase, uh, give me a sec guys, I'll, I'll figure this out eventually, um, I'll just say vase AR called Preservance. This AR is a vase made weapon that come with a high RPM of 720 with 51 in the magazine and a steady impact of 18, which is really quite low for an AR in Destiny 2. This weapon is a energy based secondary and can be found through doing normal NK activities such as nightfall, public events or getting a legendary engram. It has a stability of 54 which can be increased and a range of 35 that can also be increased to make the weapon even more efficient at long ranges. Its standard perks are as followed. Its weapon frame is rapid fire frame, increases reload speed when magazine is empty. Within its first column it, it has arrow head break quickly controls recoil, increased handling speed, extended barrel, increases range, decreases handling speed, fluted barrel, greatly increases handling speed, and slightly increases stability. In the second column, you have accurized rounds, this weapon can be fired at long distances, and steady rounds, the magazine is designed for recoil control, and greatly increases stability, but slightly decreases range. And lastly, the third column, we have dynamic sway reduction. When holding down the trigger, this weapon's sway reduction system boosts accuracy over time, so a slight increase in stability, but I don't have any current numbers on there. Now this weapon is considered a bullet hose AR that feels very reminiscent to the D1's ARs that had a high magazine but low impact. These weapons back then were fun to use in most PvE content and also at one time was highly usable in PvP, but they were always terrible at long ranges. And that was mainly because of their damage and the recoil they had. It was something akin to controlling a wild horse fun at times but severely punishing if you weren't prepared. Now those types of weapons have been moved to a separate slot called SMGs that play out fantastically for closing in and finishing players off, while the ARs have their own spot to control now. But the Perseverance now has added a slight change to some of the ARs and plays very well for a stable bullet hose weapon. This weapon in PvE does 21 to 25 damage on body shots, while crit shots tend to vary around the 60 range I've noticed. This weapon is actually quite effective in PvE content as it has a decent magazine size and a range, allowing you to take on a variety of enemies in different situations. You can customise the weapon to either have more range or more stability depending on the encounters you have and what you feel comfortable with. But ideally, I would suggest you go with fluted battle and steady rounds to improve on the weapon stability as since the weapon is a fast firing weapons frame, the recoil is slightly controllable but you will be missing a number of shots when you first fire. And this is important since the weapon has low impact, so you don't want to miss too many shots as you will burn through ammo very easily. Plus, increasing your handling speed for the weapon means that you can ready down an ADS with the weapon much more efficiently in chaotic fights, especially for PvP. PvE is not really that much of a difference, but I say that if you can get it to at least half PvE and PvP, it can play within your favour. You can also go with a hour head break battle for the weapon, which is nearly the same as a fluid battle just it focuses more on handling speed rather than stability. This rule also applies to PvP where this weapon can melt with the perks I recommended. In PvP this weapon does around 11 to the body and 14 to the head. Not large numbers for many but, but honestly this shouldn't matter as the weapon will produce enough damage through its fire rate to outgun its SMGs, most ARs and sidearms. Plus with this final perk dynamic sway reduction which improves the weapon's accuracy the longer you hold the trigger down. This weapon can be very destructive in close, medium and some long range fights, but only if they're weak. Honestly, have a look at some of the clips I have. I've literally taken a person from full health down to completely no health with this weapon. This weapon is absolutely amazing and I honestly recommend you guys to go ahead and either grind for it or, or rank up either Ashir Mir or try and get him in Legendary Engrams or Nightfall or whatever. Honestly, this weapon here guys is really good. Once you understand the flow of the weapon and once you have a good understanding of how the weapon is effective in certain ranges, this weapon is something that you may either love completely and never put down or you may use it for some fun times. Now I can only say that this weapon is really effective to use if you're looking for a weapon that has high magazine count and good perks that focus around stability and range and can generally be used against a number of players and enemies in game without having to switch out your own primary in most fights. Since, from what I've noticed, you can survive many one-on-one -on -one fights just using this weapon. 
This weapon does have a very high aim assist of 66, which is pretty useful for a weapon such as this. It means less ammo is wasted than shots. And this is quite important because for a weapon like this that sprays out bullets like it means nothing, you really need a good shot when it comes down to finishing players off. You can run through ammo really quickly, but this weapon here, it can at least take on two people and kill them both if you play your cards right. Now for me, this is something that I don't always do, but I think I'm going to go with this for all my videos, for all my weapons. I give this weapon a 7 out of 10 for its overall effectiveness in both PvE and PvP. But the only downside to this weapon is its impact, which can be outdone by many ARs, scouts, pulse rifles and some SMGs. But like I said, you want to use the weapon as if it's an SMG, so close quarter and medium fights only in PvP. And keep firing the weapon so that the final perk on perseverance kicks in. But make sure that when you do fire the weapon for long periods, make sure that you have a proper aim on the person. Don't try taking the person on from long distances because it won't work in your favour. Make sure if they're in close or medium engagements, make sure you ADS with the weapon to fully feel the effects of the weapon and to fully get the whole grasp of patrolling the recoil of this weapon. Because at first the recoil might be a bit uncontrollable, but the longer you fire the weapon, the longer the final perk will activate. And once the final and once the final perk for the weapon activates, this basically means that this weapon here will be very accurate. And to me personally, it feels much like a laser at times. Also, do chuck on a energy counterbalance mod to help with the recoil of the weapon. But for me personally, I haven't noticed much difference with it, added on or not. I don't know if this is something that is a bug or whether it's only selected for a few weapons. But I haven't really noticed that much of a change with it on and off. Honestly guys, I recommend that you go ahead and try it just to see. But if it is, then by all means chuck a mod onto it. If it doesn't, then by all means don't even bother adding a mod onto it. Add something else, like maybe extra impact or extra, or maybe a extra grenade mod or an extra all class ability mod, whatever. So if you want a stable and accurate overtime bullet hose AR just for kicks to use in both PvP and PvE, then I recommend you try this little beauty out. This weapon here is, I'll probably say, one of the most uncommon and underrated weapons in game. I don't see a lot of people use it, and if I ever do see people use it, it's kind of a, say, about a very small five percent chance. Most people, most people will be using like the Last Hope or Yeo's Gift as their main secondary, mainly because those weapons are much more accurate and hit much more harder. So a weapon like this is quite uncommon to many, but hopefully. If you look through this video and you go ahead and try this weapon out with the standard perks that I recommended, this weapon here, it can be an absolute beauty for you and for many others. So go ahead guys, have a go with it. Tell me in the comment section what you genuinely think about it and let's get this weapon back on the market for everyone. So that's the end of my video. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, by all means leave a like, a comment and subscribe for more. If you didn't, then by all means leave a dislike. I'll understand, I'll look right over the video again to see what I messed up on and I'll look back in the comment section to get some more feedback on how I can improve it in the near future. Once again guys, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.